If you were given a gift, would you accept it? And if you accepted it, how would you display it? Hi, I'm Stephanie Polson. I'm a female transformation coach and empowerment speaker. I help busy women find their endowed beauty so they can fuel their inner beast and rule their castle with confidence. A few years ago, I was beginning to start another year of homeschooling my four kids. I was babysitting more, two more kids and I was the command center of my house like most moms are. I was the one that was very reserved and quiet. I didn't always want to be in front of the camera, which was odd for me because I was the one who scheduled family photos every six months and loved being in front of people. But I didn't like the person I saw. The person in the mirror was dead. She was quiet and had lost all of her spark. She could only see the flaws and nothing else. She could see the cellulite down her legs, the not-so-pretty chest, and couldn't even find the beauty within. So one day, my husband looked at me and asked a simple question. I should have had the answer, but I couldn't. He asked me, what's your hobby? Does four kids and a really busy house count? No. He said, you have 24 hours to come back to me with an answer. So I did. I had heard a lot of people talking about how working out was great and it was awesome. So I came back to him 24 hours later and said, I'm gonna try working out. So I did. I got a videos and I started watching and working. As I was working one day, there was a trainer who asked me, or was talking and said about alignment and how you need to keep your chin and your chest in alignment. It kind of stuck with me and it was really powerful. Keep your chin and your chest held high because that's the best way to look at the day is what they said. I took it a little differently and I went, keep your chin and your chest held high. Why? Because you're too beautiful for anything else. I believed it and I knew it, but I had to show myself that that was true. So in the first six months of working out, I think I cried more than I ever, ever did in my life. Why would anybody want to do this if all we do is cry? But it was incredible. And it made me think about the movie Beauty and the Beast. The Beast hated what he saw. He tore up pictures, hated everything, was mean and dark. But this beauty walked in and showed him something. Showed him that this beauty within was endowed for him, was given to him, and he needed to love it because she loved it. He learned that it was okay to love it too. So every work and every workout and every trial, I learned how to face everything I had because of that. I do the same thing for my clients. My clients are here to work through the stress, find that beauty within themselves, and love themselves. Because these women are incredible. They're the command center of their house. They are busy women. They are moms who most of them either have full-time jobs outside of momhood or just have multiples. But they may have put themselves on the back burner a little. And it's time for them to see that they love themselves too. We work through the stresses of life, give them a safe place so that they know they can handle it all and show them that beauty that we already see. Just like the beast, he was handed a gift. He was handed a single rose, it was put in a case, put on a pedestal and it was shown for all. It was on display and everybody cared and worried about it. If we were given that same gift, how would we display it? That gift, that beauty that was inside of him was that rose. It was given to him and he was needed to love it. As he learned how to love it, he learned that it was his. It was his for the taking. But he needed somebody else to show it to him. He needed Belle to find it. So like we said at the beginning, if you were given a gift, would you accept it? If you accept it, 
how would you display that gift? Because you are incredible. My name is Stephanie Polson. I'm here to show you that your endowed beauty is amazing. And we need to let that inner beast out because you are too beautiful for anything else.